Welcome to another mini video from 2dgameartguru.com. Today I'm working in Affinity Designer to create this hexagon logo. I came across a video where it was constructed using a grid, a lot of complicated mass and a lot of fiddling around. The idea is to work smart not hard, breaking down the logo into its basic parts. It's a hexagon logo. Let's start with a hexagon shape. When I duplicate the shape, move the duplicate down a little bit and cut it with the boolean subtract. I end up with the key shape of the logo. I turn this shape into a symbol by bringing up the symbol panel with the shape selected, I click on create. The polyline now is inside a symbol. I duplicate the symbol, rotate it while holding shift, which snaps the angle to 15 degrees. Align the angle of the duplicate to the base shape and power duplicate control J four more times until you end up with six copies of the symbol. By selecting the content of the symbol and moving that to the upper right, the other symbols copy that motion. And with a little bit of alignment, I created the logo. It's a little easier to align objects with the snapping turned on. There's a big advantage working with symbols. A change to one symbol will affect all other symbols. I can easily narrow the gap by adding thickness to the shape with the contour tool, set the corners to mitre to get sharp corners, change the color, add a gradient or add more shapes to the symbols. By turning off the sync in the symbols panel, I can select one of the symbols and color it individually. Once I turn the sync back on and make changes to the symbol, it will affect all other symbols. Let's add shapes to the symbol. I altered the gradient a little bit and add a rectangle on top, give it a darker fill and transparency and place it inside the base shape, turning it into a clipping mask. Instantly, all other symbols are clipping mask with the same content. Adding a lighter copy of the transparent shape set to overlay adds a nice touch Whenever you deal with repeating shapes or patterns, symbols are a great tool to make your life easier. To create this design, I used a hexagon shape, boolean operations, symbols and gradients, and it took just minutes and no complicated mass or complex grids. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, leave a like, and I will see you again soon.